name is Ulf Jarnason with uh, Rosemont Tank Aging Emerson. Today we're going to give you a little introduction to the uh, solutions we have for uh, onshore LNG uh, storage applications. In a large onshore LNG tank, we typically equip the tank with a primary level gauge with temperature, multispot, secondary level with uh, temperature from a multispot, and a high level alarm, and in addition to that, also a profile meter to get the uh, density and temperature profile. We all bring this together on a communication bus system into a uh, data acquisition system and an LNG management software package. From that package, we can then connect to uh, high-level DCS systems and, and other uh, control systems. The uh, primary level, the secondary level, and the high-level alarm, we all use non-contacting radar. We call that the Rosemount 5900S, which is a new level gauge based on the FMCW radar measurement principle. So the only thing we place in the tank is a piece of stainless steel cone antenna guided where, where the signals are guided down to the surface through a steel pipe. To be able to make uh, verifications during measurement, since this is a closed sealed tank, we have a special patented function that we place a little, what we call a reference pin or verification pin in the steel pipe so we can make the radar measure against this pin as a reference echo so we can see that there is no drift and the calibration remains during the uh, lifetime of the gauge and the service life of the tank. In the end of the pipe, we place a deflector and a little reflector ring to give a reference echo or a verification possibility also from the zero position in the tank. The Raptor 5900S is SIL rated. It's certified 615 weight by Exida for SIL 2 or SIL 3 applications. Uh, the SIL 3 function is enabled by using what we call a 2-in-1 function that we, in the radar electronics, in the radar head, there are actually two individual, two independent radar module sharing the same housing. So we have two radar units in the same housing sending out the signals through the same antenna. And then there is an internal logic then to detect that both of, of the radars giving an OK output, and then we have an OK SIL signal. The radar unit we put on the tank, the 5900S, is a non-contacting FMCW 10 gigahertz radar with all components outside the tank. The only thing we put inside the tank is the stainless steel cone. Together with the radar, there is also a fireproof ball valve included. And when needed, not in the standard LNG applications, but in LPG, we also have an associated pressure transmitter. Thank you. <laughs>